The best thing you can do to keep a boiler working properly is to regularly inspect its controls. This action also ensures a safe and efficient operating environment. Before starting this task, make sure that the staff member working on these steps is qualified. If not, hire a qualified controls technician. Also, observe all safety procedures. If any control devices need to be replaced, shut down the unit. Follow the lockout tagout procedure including turning off the fuel and power supply. Use your boiler maintenance log to track controls readings and any changes that need to be made. First, let's cover the actions that need to be performed every day. Inspect the flame safeguard control. This device guarantees the safe light off, operation, and shutdown of the burner. The flame safeguard control has a fail safe. If you're not sure that the device is working properly, call a qualified controls technician and have it inspected, repaired, and if necessary, replaced immediately. During the heating season, keep records of the feed water pressure and temperature every day. Changes in the feed water pressure could mean trouble, such as a leaky valve or problem with the deaerator. If you notice any changes, call a qualified controls technician right away. Record boiler pressure readings, including steam pressure, hot water temperature, if it is a hot water boiler, and stack temperatures every day. Also, note the outdoor temperature. If you have a fuel pressure gauge, record the supply pressure of natural gas or fuel oil. Changes in gas or fuel oil pressure could mean serious problems. A fuel supply pressure that is too high or too low can also affect boiler operation and performance. Low gas pressure is often indicated by a low or intermittent gas flame, while high gas pressure can produce a larger than normal flame. In most cases, properly maintained high and low gas pressure cutouts should prevent potential safety hazards. Issues related to fuel supply pressure need to be taken care of immediately. Recording and reviewing the readings can help identify problems with the control settings and general boiler operation and efficiency. Now, let's discuss the actions that should be completed every week. Check the low water cutoff switch by shutting off the feed water pump and letting the water steam off at low fire. Watch the water gauge and mark the point where the low water cutoff shuts down the boiler. Mark this point on the water gauge as a reference point. Replace the low water cutoff tube twice each year. Operating limit controls maintain the operating parameters of the boiler in terms of temperature and pressure. Check these controls once a week and make sure they're in working order by comparing the control settings to actual operating temperatures and pressures on the boiler gauges. Inspect the safety interlock controls. By law, and for most insurance companies, the safety interlock controls must be in working order at all times. Check to make sure the interlock controls are working properly by comparing the control settings to actual operating temperatures and pressures on the boiler gauges. If you see any differences, call a qualified boiler technician. Inspect and test indicating lights and alarms. Without the lights and alarms on most boilers, you'd have no way of knowing if anything has gone wrong. Test control circuit buttons each week to make sure they're working correctly. If the circuit doesn't have a test button, Simulate a minor but controllable event that would activate a light or alarm, such as disconnecting the flame safeguard control. Take a reading of the fresh water supply to the boiler system and write down any use of makeup water. This step will help you determine if there are any leaks in the system. Check all fuel and air linkages on the boiler. Make sure they remain in the right position, the screws are tight, and there is no binding of the linkages. Don't forget to use your senses. If you see any leaks, hear unusual noises, or any other problems, pay attention to them. Small leaks and noises 
can become big leaks and loud noises before you know it. They can also signal bigger problems. Write down your observations and make sure they're taken care of right away. If you are unsure, contact a qualified boiler technician to come in and help. Finally, perform control-related actions once a year. Test the operating pressure of the boiler by increasing steam pressure to the safety valve's rated setting. Conduct this test when the building is empty. The valve should open and then reset according to the stampings on the valve. On a regular basis, go through the boiler maintenance logs to check for any minor problems and schedule repairs before they become major problems. Maintaining the controls on your boiler system can help reduce costs and keep everyone in the building safe. Keep an eye on those controls and you're off to a good start.